Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Primetime Crisis Vlogs, the Flash edition. So, the episode we're talking about today is the new rogues. So, in this episode, we finally get introduced to Mirror Master, and guess what? He's just pretty much your average, generic, kind of evil Flash villain. Um, we also get to meet Top, and she is the exact same way. So, um, I wasn't really expecting anything much from that. I mean, you kind of just go into Flash never expecting much from, like, the random one-and-done villains. Um, and I know that we're probably going to get more Mirror Master, but, like, this was just, like, one of those, like, small contained episodes. It's not really... It doesn't seem to at least be part of that much of a grander story at this point. I mean, we're setting up little things with like the new wells that we're bringing in and uh, Wally and Jesse's relationship and stuff like that. So there's a lot going on in this episode. Um, but overall, it was kind of entertaining, but stupid in a lot of ways. So I say entertaining, but stupid. So like immediately um, we get this whole thing with, uh, uh, we get Snart and Mirror Master and we get to see that whole origin play out. And that was kind of cool because we actually got to see Snart. So when they say, like, they're going after Snart at the ending, you're kind of expecting that to actually be Snart, and then it's not. And then it's a hologram. And I thought it was kind of cool to set up Snart in the beginning when you see the Mirror Master's origin. And um, so that was really cool. Um, the Barry kind of training uh, Jesse stuff was, you know, kind of typical sidekick type stuff that you oftentimes see like the sidekicks out in the field and they keep screwing things up and making it harder for um like you know the the main hero to you know do their job and they're kind of just like a hindrance more than they are a help and you get that where like top makes her fall off the building and then because of that barry gets trapped in the mirror and then jesse does that always really annoying thing where people are like it's just it's just all my fault then they like run away and it's like okay when you do that kind of exit it's obvious that people are gonna like now follow you and like see if you're okay at least, like, that's what, like, I would expect to happen. It's, it's like, it feels like such a, like, an attention-grabby type of thing to do. Be like, it's all my fault! And then just run out of a room. Just like, ugh. But, um, I thought that was funny. Uh, we got to see some Wally and Jesse stuff, uh, go, going on, going on. Blah, I can't speak. And that was, uh, kind of cool. It was kind of, you know, charming in, like, an amazing Spider-Man 2 awkward relationship kind of way. Um... But it did kind of feel a little bit kind of filler. Um, that stuff kind of worked better when it was just, like, happening. And we didn't really, like, focus on it as a subplot. You just kind of, like, knew that Jesse and Wally kind of like each other. But, I mean, you do have to sometimes dedicate scenes to progressing that kind of relationship. So I'm going it, to... It's not that big of a deal. Um, but Barry and Iris, that whole thing was super weird and way more just like, oh, my God, this feels really filler. Barry and Iris make Joe weirded out when they kiss. Like, ugh, that was so, like, because, like, okay, the scene that really made me irritated by that whole subplot was when they're watching the movie and then, like, Barry's weirded out about, like, putting his arm around Iris and so she stands up and she's like, Barry! And it's like, Iris, nobody wants to listen to your relationship drama right now. Like, just stop talking because, like, everybody else just wants to watch the movie and you're just standing up and making everything about you all the time, Iris. Get over yourself. Um, but that's just, like, how it really came across. And it's really funny because, of course, that gets interrupted by someone committing or something going on and they have to stop Mirror Master from robbing the bank. And they're like... Um, you know, it's like in Flash, d does anything never not get interrupted? I feel like everything these people do in their lives must be interrupted by, uh, you know, some sort of person who needs the help of the Flash or something going on in the city where the Flash is needed. Something always happens and interrupts every activity, anyone in this universe, just any, anytime anyone's doing anything, it will be interrupted. So um, that that's always really funny. But yeah, the Barry and Iris thing. That was just really annoying. That felt filler, and that was just kind of pointless. Um, I thought it was hilarious how within the first scene that we introduced the new character, Cecile, I think is her name, it's like the like as soon as she's introduced, you're like, oh, love interest for Joe. Like, that's her, like, role. Like, her character is, like, you could put, like, a, a 
sticky note on her forehead that says like love interest for Joe because within the first shot that you see her you're like oh that's what the, that's why she's here she's here to give Joe a love interest and you know knowing this knowing this show she's probably going to turn out to be a villain somehow she's probably going to be evil and it was all a trick or a plan or something um yeah uh but the finding the new Dr. Wells that was hilarious um and it was also really stupid but it was really hilarious. So they're just like, you know, uh, it'd be much, it's just so much more fun when you hang out with us, Dr. Wells. And he's like, yeah, I know. But, you know, there's a whole multiverse of Dr. Wells out there. You can get any of them. <laughs> like, there's just, just grab a random Dr. Wells. And I'm like, this seems like a horrible idea. This seems like a guaranteed way to bring a new supervillain over to your Earth. Because that's what happens when people come over from other Earths. They're almost always evil almost always and so um or like another timeline or what are from another time period what whatever when people come to your earth that aren't from your time it's always bad news it's always bad news in the flash and so like they go through their like dating profile which i thought was it was like dating profiles for dr wells and i thought that was hilarious um i don't buy that like the mime was also like a really insane genius who was able to respond to their weird message and crack the code. And I don't buy that the weird cowboy Dr. Wells was able to do that either, but that was still really funny at least. And the Dr. Wells they picked is just like the most unbearable personality type ever. And that's hilarious actually. He's like, he reminds me of like a he just feels like he thinks he's Usher or something like that. That's how I'm going to describe describe that character. It's Dr. Wells if he thought that he was Usher, right? So, labeling him that. Um, but that whole thing was really funny. I'm sure he's going to turn out to be evil. I mean, isn't that like what has to happen? It's like, oh, we just brought over this guy and he's going to be evil. Like, that's got to be the case. Um, but... Uh, I don't know if the, anything else consequential really happened in this episode. Um, it was just, you know, there was J there was Barry and Iris had drama. Wally and Jesse had a little bit of drama. Uh, Joe had a love interest. Wells, um, Wells didn't really do anything but help them find a new Wells. Jesse almost died but didn't die oh that was a that was a little arc right there you know we had jesse fail the first time and then we had that really cheesy moment where she's like quick to learn she's like oh jesse quick to fall or whatever and then like she like knocks out top she's like quick to learn that was a hilarious like just like oh my god kind of moment like what the heck <laughs> i thought that was really funny um but i don't know I, I think that was pretty much everything that happened in this episode mirror master was caught by the end uh and yeah so I'll, I'll just go ahead and talk about this scene really quick because i remember watching it and i thought it was funny i thought the scene where they were naming mirror master and top was kind of funny because wells like name is mirror master and then like cisco's like oh i named the people so he's kind of like angry that wells came up with the name and so then when they get to top's name top is a terrible name like that is just a horrible super villain name so it was hilarious because like cisco comes up with that name and like they have to use that whoops i just almost knocked over a bottle just now uh, they have to use that name because obviously it's a, it's a comic name so cisco's like oh uh and he just quickly comes up with this horrible superhero name like within the show he just came up with it really fast so it's a really terrible name i think that's really funny maybe that's just me Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But I laughed at that moment, and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, so um, I guess next week we'll learn more about, or next episode we'll learn more about this new uh, thinks that he's a cool guy, Dr. Wells, and that will hopefully be hilarious because he kind of seems funny, but he kind of seems like he could be evil. Um, so what would you guys think of this episode? Leave it down in the comments below. Peace out.